hey everyone, it's David with Soulfish. Thank you for being here. You know, if these messages resonate with you, please subscribe, like, always leave a comment if you can. We'd love to hear what you have to say, and it grows our community. You know, when you subscribe and comment, it really helps to build a bigger base for us to have a wider conversation. It also allows for people to share what they're feeling and for us to be able to respond to that and to be able to say, hey, that's normal, let me help validate you. Or, hey, here's another way to maybe look at that. You know, today is almost like a new beginning in some ways, energetically. Uh, things are really shifting fast. And in working with a lot of people um, over the last few weeks, change is a major theme. It, really, the unwillingness to change. It's uncomfortable, right? You're used to doing things a certain way, um, but it's not giving you the same result anymore. So what do you do about that? You know, we are compelled to change. It's not our nature. What we want to do is find security and stability. And so once we find kind of a formula that seems to work and that allows us to carry on and we make enough income or we do this, in other words, we, we get just over that bar, right? Then we stop changing because we feel like whew, we finally we finally made that right we finally made it there we don't have to address this anymore um and we can address other things maybe now and that happens in waves right like uh, like a pendulum effect um you're able to to shift yourself in different ways but it always swings back um we live in a flow so staying static when you live inside a flow uh, is only going to mean at some point you have to make a change in direction. You're going to have to make a change in your course. Um, so what, what I really try to teach, what I try to work with people on, is recognizing what's going on in the energy flow, what's going on around them, and then how do they, instead of trying to fight it, be resistant to it, how do they first recognize what's going on, and then secondly, how do they work themselves in a way that goes with the flow? instead of going against the flow. You know, when you, when you go with the flow, you're able to manifest things really quickly. When you go with the flow, you're able to make huge changes very rapidly. But it means that you've got to change here first, obviously. You've got to be aware, and awareness is very different than thinking, right? So you've got to be aware and then make changes here. But the, the big theme has been kind of, I don't want to. Um, you know, I recognize that what I'm currently doing isn't working but I don't want to go and do this or do that. I'd want a hawk just fly overhead. Uh, it's always a beautiful thing. Um, you know, I don't, I don't want to make these changes. And so you're forcing yourself to kind of be at, at, at odds with the tide. You're forcing yourself to be at odds with the flow. Um, the flow right now, the energetic flow of what's been occurring is helping you to flush out what you don't need for this next book of your life. It's not a chapter, it's not a continuation of the previous stories, it's not, you know, bad chapter, bad chapter, bad chapter, and then all of a sudden we're going to try to make a good book at the end here. This, you're over all of that. So whatever your book one was is over. It's closed. Now what you have the opportunity in this transition time between you opening up book two is in this moment you're being helped to let go of the things that you don't need for the story of book two. It's a really, really important time. And so the idea that you don't want to change, the idea that enough already, I've already done all this work, why do I have to keep doing more work? When does this work ever end, right? Um, and it doesn't. And it shouldn't. You live in a flow of change. That means you're going to have to be an agent of change. But what happens is, once you start to work on yourself in a certain way and drop all these rings, all these masters, desires, all these things that really bind you, what happens is, when you come into these change times that are, uh, that are kind of cosmically driven, outside in, right, right, you're able to move very quickly through that stuff. It doesn't, it doesn't impact you as negatively, vibrationally, emotionally, etc., energetically. Um, 
as when you haven't done some of that work, when you have those rings inside you that keep attracting a certain kind of vibe that usually shows you is not useful for you anymore. It's usually a pain-centered vibe that creates pain inside you. And so your failure to change creates a bigger pain body. Your failure to change keeps you in an older flow instead of you being in the new flow. It's like you eddied out over here. The problem is, is you don't get to stay there ever. So you will get washed into the flow. So if you fail to change voluntarily, the way this place works is you'll be forced to change. You'll have to react to or respond to a certain situation that forces you to change directions. So that's what you're really trying to avoid is that, uh, that kind of traumatic event. You're trying to set yourself up for success. You're setting yourself up. You know, your, your work here wasn't your job. Your work here is about your work here, <laughs> not, not your work out in the world. By you changing here, changes everything in the world. And so, what I can suggest to you, what I can encourage you to do, is in this time to dig deep, to let go of some of the ego stuff, let go of some of the, well, this is how I've done it, therefore, you know, it worked in the past, it should keep working. It, it, it's not going to. Um, the other issue I've noticed with a lot of folks is, is the blame game out. You know, this isn't working anymore for whatever reason. It used to work, but now uh, I'm going to blame you or you as to why it's not working now. I want to keep doing the same thing, maybe in a different way. I'm just going to color it from red to blue, but I'm going to keep doing the same thing. But that's your fault why it hasn't been working. It has nothing to do with the way I'm operating and how everything else has changed around me, and I'm not meeting that change. You want to avoid that as well. You know, every time that you point your finger out is really an opportunity for you, an awareness to say, hey, wait a minute, that's probably something that has to relate to me. So in this moment, when you have the opportunity to make a big change, you need to do it. You need not let fear keep you from making that change. You know, the fear of the unknown, somehow everyone thinks, well, you know, whatever the pain I know now is is better than an unknown pain <laughs> over here. My issue is if pain is a one out of a 10 and this pain is a one that you know and are comfortable with, the devil you know, right? And you're afraid of whatever pain over here is, it's not gonna be worse than a one. It's gonna be better. It's gonna be a one or better. So pain is pain. I don't, I don't really think subscribing to the fact that I understand this in this kind of mode um, and therefore I don't really need to experience over here, uh, is it good logic, isn't a good way to, to live your life, you know. Uh, the one thing that is consistent here is that pain will find you um, based on what you're attracting. It will find you. It doesn't matter what you're doing. So, you know, have a choice. Have a choice of the type of pain that you're going to take. Have a choice of the type of medicine that you're going to take. Don't have the world, the universe, enforce medicine upon you, because um, it will, as you know. Um, you help to choose your medicine and when you take it. But that means that you've got to be responsible, and you have to say, you know what, I recognize that all this stuff is happening around me, and that I have to do something now to fit better into what's going on around me. When I say fit better, please understand, I'm not telling you to sell out. I'm not telling you to become something else. What I'm saying to you is step into what you are and your environment will rise to meet you. This is a time for change. This is a time for you to step into the new you. And it's going to take this little bit of oomph, but just know that you can do it. You're like at the five yard line. All you got to do is just get into the goal, right? Just get into that goal area. You're at the five yard line. Don't stop now. You can do this. Be well.